It's an MZ Family Christmas. Starring Michael Zavala, Eric Starr, Spider the DJ, Cosmo Joe, and Clark. And now, here's your host, Michael Zavala. Well, Merry Christmas, everyone. It's uh, glad to see everyone here. Hi. Happy Kwanzaa. Hey, Chris Sapphire. I'm looking at Chris's face like he's all amazed like a little kid. I am. <laughs> it's Christmas. I'm thoroughly amazed at your production value. I love how everybody's all Christmas out. Eric looks like a little Santa hel- a helper elf Yay. man. He looked at me when I got here. He was like, why do you look like a dominatrix? <laughs> <laughs> it's a dominatrix Christmas. That's it. Whiplash. I just got out of my colonoscopy. I'm so happy to be here with you all. Feels great. Well, uh, it's good to see you on this very snowy Dallas day. Burr. For those who yeah. are not in uh, the Dallas, Texas area, we had a freak snowstorm that just came through, and uh, it's kind of scary, but I think we'll be okay. We're, yeah. in, we're inside this giant building. Unless it's raining, we're fine. I know that's right. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we had a couple people not even make it today. Yeah. yeah, Mark is, right now, he's supposed to be here, but he's stuck in a block of ice, he said. Mm. He's stuck in a block of ice or doing a block of ice? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, yes. Uh, well, and I then- think, you know, the snowstorm started last night at the club. <laughs> <laughs> and probably stayed there. Uh, it's, right. And it snowballed to today. Yeah. It's a very isolated storm. She comes in covered in snow. <laughs> Clark, you're not on? Oh. Oh. That was for a reason. Yeah. I, I thought so. Yeah. What were you going to say? Nothing, I was nothing, like, nothing was, that, was that the Christmas miracle? Ha ha ha. I'm going to turn his mic back off. <laughs> All right. All right. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> no, but anyway, yeah. And Sick With It was supposed to be here, but he got stuck in El Paso because the roads are bad. Wow. Uh, but luckily, we're we're safe and sound. We're warm in this uh, the studio. Mm-hmm. We have a sponsor now. I don't know if anybody knows that. We have a sponsor oh. that does all of our shows. And so I have to uh, have to play it now in certain times of the show. So uh, here's the first ad. MZ Family Christmas is brought to you by MZ Plus Ultra Max. Hey, what's one more subscription? Become a member for exclusive show access and videos. Sign up now at YouTube.com slash Michael Zavala. Wow. wow. Incredible. That, we, AI Clark recorded <laughs> that's me, that. That's it, not me talking. No, no, that's AI Clark. Wow. Uh, we put him to work this week. He it's said, so hey, lifelike. You know what? AI Clark said, I want to do some work for the show. We don't have a lot of sponsors. And I said, well, there's a reason for that. We don't want to have to do a sponsor breaks <clears throat> and all that stuff. But mm-hmm. he goes, you know, let me just find a sponsor and I'll do the ad reads and you don't have to pay me a thing. And uh, he did a great job, I thought. Some people have gotten really good at sneaking in ads during their oh, shows. Oh, yeah. Like, they're like, man, Dolly Parton had some big blessings, but this brought to you by <laughs> Starbucks. <laughs> Just so good at it. Chris, how you feeling? <laughs> I feel great. I wish I had a straw so I could enjoy <laughs> yeah. this lovely Frappuccino you brought know they to you by Starbucks. They didn't even have it in a carrier when I walked in there. I had to go grab it. There's no one there to help me. So I had to go grab mm-hmm. a little carrier, put it in there. That's basically a self-serve. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty much. Place. I could yeah. you just open the back and let me walk in and I can do it. Just take your top off. Me? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think y'all ready for this. <laughs> How you feeling today, Eric? Oh, I'm feeling good. You look good, too. Thank you. How was your last night? It was good. I didn't do anything but just like get, um, get myself together to make cabinets. Oh, oh you're making cabinets at the yeah. house? Why not just buy cabinets and save yourself the hassle? Um, because the already pre-made cabinets from like Lowe's or Home Depot, mm-hmm. um, they're really cheaply made. Mm-hmm. And so I looked at the reviews and they're like, I had mine for, for six weeks and it's already breaking apart. Like somebody literally took a picture of, of them pulling their drawer out of their cabinet and it the bottom part fell out. Uh, <laughs> what in the world? Yeah, so and then... Um, just for like the, the bottom cabinets for like uh for the put the kitchen counters on um is about all you need like one two three let's see five um and it's thirteen hundred dollars damn yeah that's just the bottom ones but how much is it, so is it gonna cost you less to make it yeah so um all together to like make them the the bottom ones and for the wall as well um and all the equipment that I need and tools and all that um six hundred dollars. Damn. So compared, compared to paying 
almost 2000 something for like the top and bottom ones. They be getting you at all these places, even like car repair services. Mm -hmm. The other day, some crazy ass bitch broke into my truck. There was glass everywhere. Yeah. And I called that company that's supposed to fix the glass. They wanted 500 some dollars. Mm -hmm. I found the glass on Amazon for 80 some bucks. Got on YouTube University, fixed yeah. it myself with the help wow. of my mom. Yeah. Saved myself 500 bucks. Exactly. It was so easy to yeah. do. What window was it? My uh, right window in the, the door. rear. And they didn't steal nothing from the car. I showed up. I had left this after party. I was kind of hungover. Got in my car and I was like, God, it's cold and bright in here. And I look, <laughs> windows all shattered. And I said, what the hell? And they didn't steal nothing. My makeup was still still in there. Last time they broke into my car, they stole all my stuff, mm -hmm. all my makeup, my friend's makeup, which is kind of gross. Like, ew. Yeah. And they kicked my the back of my truck and put a big dent in it. <laughs> I um I don't know what see what city it is, but I know like they're like, oh, just just keep your car unlocked and the windows down, mm -hmm. so that way you don't have to like pay for like window repair because they they break in they break the window all the time. That's crazy. So they're like just. Leave your car unlocked, roll the windows down, and you'll be fine. Some girl told me to do that. I forgot what city no. it was. Heck no. I can't do that. Mm -mm. And I had a lot of good stuff in the truck, too. Bunch of, like, hardware, a jack that's huge. Oh, that really? It cost, like, probably $200. <laughs> I wonder what it, who it was then. I don't man. know. Probably some God bless their hearts, some crackhead. <laughs> do you still have your catalytic converter? Uh, I mean, I guess the truck's running good. It, I doesn't, was, it doesn't sound like a motorcycle when you get in there. <laughs> no, I was chilling driving here. Everything was good. I was listening to um, right. Cher's new Christmas album. <laughs> Cher has a new Christmas album. She does. I did not know she that. She just got her seventh number one. I think a number one in each decade. This is decade number seven. Wow. The Eternal Cher, Roaches and Cher, and Keith wow. Richards. That's yeah. it. They say the world's gonna end. Them two are gonna. <laughs> what about what about uh, Willie Nelson? Oh no, Willie's gonna die. Nah, think... he's he's almost Damn. there. Man. Yeah, well, God, almost he... there. Like he's he's like handcuffed to Jimmy Carter right now. Oh, oh my gosh! Wow. By the way, no, it... I mean I don't think it's that bad. But I mean, come on. I'm sad Mark's not here because I was gonna ask him about that Zack Snyder's uh, Rebel oh, Moon, yeah. which is uh, like a Star Wars thing on Netflix, and it looks really good. But apparently the critics are not liking it. It's got a twenty percent fresh rating on Rotten Tomatoes, mm -hmm. which I mean, take it or leave it. Why do we need? Why do we need Mark for? We have Clark here. Well, Clark, are you a Snyder fan? I don't think you are. I think you have better he, taste than he's that. A, he's a resident movie reviewer, show reviewer. Well, yeah, yeah, it's just perfect because you if haven't he, seen it. Yeah, even if he hasn't seen it, he still reviews it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what do you think about the movie you haven't seen? Oh man, what platform is it on again? Netflix. Netflix. Oh yeah, I already hate it. Right See? there, you go. <laughs> <laughs> if it's on Netflix, it are. But what that, you, that, you, you can only strive to be above a B. Like that's that's about it. Games Radar. I don't know what that is, but gave it a three out of five. BBC three out of five. The Guardian one out of five. IndieWire D minus. IGN four out of ten. BBC right exactly. Yeah. D minus. Uh, uh, what do you think about it being similar or supposed to be? inspired from like star wars well he was trying to pitch it to star wars and they didn't want him to touch their stuff which i completely oh, understand like storyline yeah, well yeah he had an idea and he thought hey star this would be a good platform for star wars and star wars said no which, like a spin-off thing or what no it's going to be his own i don't know he's got his own story maybe a branch off or i don't know well, maybe it's a skywalk i don't know when well, it, star when wars it was. is they're gonna they're eventually gonna take a trip like back to the old republic and so there's like you know there's five thousand years of narrative that you can invent yeah and he had he, is, this is very much so, so star wars didn't want it so he made his own thing so he used the same set the desert with the little adobes and all that the same thing with the jawas yeah or, and the wookies they're always it always looks the same and the laser swords mm -hmm. laser swords no it's, it's, it's like the star wars is always the same set it's just like some de desert yeah you just planet. change a little oh yeah well, you change that's, the color of the robot yeah, yeah no i mean that's that's a fair that's a fair, that's a fair <laughs> criticism of it i absolutely agree with that <laughs> But you said I'm sorry. I'm watching Chris try to drink this thing. <laughs> <laughs> but be, I remember somebody saying it was supposed to be like a cowboy like in space, like a space cowboy. Yeah, but that's what Star Trek thing. is, or was. Uh, you know, back in the, the Star original Trek's series. Better. It's like, better. yeah, it's, it yeah, makes you think. This has already been established on this show. Here's what's. Uh, <laughs> here's what uh, Zack Snyder is. Zack Snyder is a great painter, not a storyteller. And I, I don't. I don't think he's that much more less talented than uh, Christopher Nolan. No, no, he's a, he's a very talented guy. He just can't tell the story. He can make it but look really great. Think, but I also don't think Christopher Nolan's that great. Uh, his Ooh. is more uh, coherent. Snyder's sure all over that? the place. Yeah, 
You sure about that? Yeah, yeah, one hundred percent. Because I think I think probably uh, uh, Dunkirk was one of the most incoherent oh, yeah, but, war films I've ever. But watched. look at Interstellar. Look at uh, the Dark Knight. Those were more coherent. And then Zack Snyder's all over the place. But anyway, I all just right. wanted to get. Yeah, uh, sure. <laughs> oh, uh, by the way, uh, I don't know if this is true or not. I didn't look it up, but I saw a headline somewhere that says, "Well, uh, Zack Snyder says a lot of the problems that people are complaining about will be fixed in a director's cut." Oh, okay. You are the director. Yeah, that's lies. <laughs> what did we just watch on Netflix? That's your movie. You put it together. And he's, oh, I made a mistake. Let me make a director's cut. Who did the first one? Who was the director of the first one? Anyway, but that brings me to my next uh, thing I wanted to talk about. Five underrated Christmas movies. Now, you always hear about Home Alone, It's a Wonderful Life, all these different movies. But these movies you don't really see on a list, right? Number one on my list is Daddy's Home 2, which uh, I don't know why anybody doesn't talk about that, but it's a fantastic Christmas movie. I love it. I watch it every year. There's a Christmas movie called Daddy's Home. Two. 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 Yeah, Two. not the first one. Not, yeah, don't, don't watch the first one. Oh, I like you, won't, you won't like it anyway, because you hate Mark Wahlberg. So Daddy's Home 2, that's a real movie? Yes, with yeah. Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> so you're not playing around. That's wow. Actually, it's a real movie. John Cena, I think, one. is in it. I think, I think, I think Mel Gibson. Of, Who's the guy who plays uh, Third Rock from the Sun, the older guy? John Lithgow. He's in there. Fantastic cast. It's great. Watch Daddy's that. Home. Two. Wow. Two. Don't watch the first one. Yeah, don't watch the first one. First one is forgettable. <laughs> uh, okay. oh, oh, Will Ferrell's in it. Mm-hmm. I forgot yeah. about him. It's, it's Mark Wahlberg, Will Ferrell. Yeah, you won't like it, though, because you hate Mark, Marky Mark. It is a real movie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he did not believe you. Batman Returns. Okay, also, yeah. uh-huh. not really a Christmas movie, but I watch it only around Christmas, and it gives me the um, Christmas feels. You know what I mean? I mean, that's... You, that what? scene of Michelle Pfeiffer coming home with her Christmas decorations. You could, you that's true. Will give it all to me. You yeah. can pretty much do that with that movie because it yeah. has no it doesn't have anything from the first movie. It doesn't carry anything yeah, over exactly. to Yeah. Friday after next. I watched that oh, last that's night. Yeah. That's a great movie. Yeah. I don't see it on anybody's list. It's the, fantastic. It's the third is that the third one? Yeah. See, I didn't see it. It's great. Well, it's got uh I've got the D V D somewhere. Terry Crews is in it. I don't think I've seen that one. Cat Williams is in it. Great. It's a great one. Watch that. It's Christmas. All right. Uh, and this one <laughs> made it on my list. I, I may not watch it this year, but it is a great movie. It's only because I don't have Apple TV Plus or whatever it's called. Spirited. Dude. Isn't that a great movie, Clark? You're I, the one who turned me on to that. I have. Spirited. I said this. Spirited. Like, all last year. Yeah. Don't they and sell you're right. Halloween no, costumes? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, I've said it that that's the best Christmas, like seriously just centered around Christmas movie probably since Elf and I don't like Elf. If you're that type of person too, you're than like Elf. I'm not really an Elf fan. Right. Daddy's Home, oh, what did I say? Daddy's Home too. <laughs> Spirited. Daddy's Home too. I'm getting back to that. So wait a minute, where's Spirit? Is it a new movie? movie? Yeah, yeah. It came out last year. Is it Apple Apple TV? TV? Oh, I didn't watch oh. it. That's why. What's I thought you were students? talking about the movie in the like 2000s about that horse. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's Spirit. Oh, the cartoon, oh. yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. Y'all remember that about that horse running around? A Christmas yeah. horse. A Christmas horse. And then the last one on this list is, uh, you know, this one makes it on a lot of lists, but I, I, I didn't agree with it up until recently, and it's Die Hard. Mm. I think Die Hard is a good Christmas film, you know? Okay. You watch it how many times? Uh, how many times have you seen Die Hard? How many times have you seen Die Hard? Yeah. I probably watch it at least 30 times a year, so wow. 30, 30 times... 30. Oh, now we got to do math on Christmas. We're probably a little short of a thousand. Wow. Can you imagine dying hard? That oh. sucks. Well, Bruce Willis tried to die hard, but he did not die hard. Don't they say if you take too much Viagra, you could possibly die hard? Yeah, especially if it has, I don't know. it stays in your system too well, long. Well, in a way, I mean, if you really get down to it, you die hard. Oh, yeah. there's a name for that. Yeah, it's called rigor mortis. No, I thought like angel boner or something like that. <laughs> there's a name for that. I like that. There's a name for it. Let me look it up so we can learn something new on this educational Christmas show. I Brought mean, to you by LeVar yeah. Burton, by the way, <laughs> and Reading Rainbow. <laughs> Reading Rainbow. We're not, we're not going anywhere. Uh, it is, the, the, the correct term is called angel lust, a death oh. erection, oh, rigor, yeah. erect, rigor erectus. Or terminal erection. Back to Die Hard being a Christmas film, you know, <laughs> uh, Clark has had a very intense discussion with AI Clark. You know, his AI, we cloned Clark a few months ago. And he without had a my, very, without my, uh, no, you know, we asked you, you weren't paying we, attention. Oh, yeah. Yeah. God. Yeah. You got me. You see, you got me when I was, Hey, I took hard. every sales really course there. I knew what year. I was doing. Yeah, yeah, you did. Yeah. And, uh, you said, yes, <laughs> we got the consent. We made the AI. But uh, they've been going back and forth off air about is Die Hard a Christmas well, film? Well, dude, he calls me at night sometimes. Well, you know, 
So at Clark, least you get a call at night. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But Clark, uh, make a final statement about is Die Hard really a Christmas film? It absolutely 100% is. And there's no way to... Uh, oh, my oh Bio Clark, Die Hard is not a Christmas movie. Well, yes, it is, A.I. Clark. In fact, let me explain it to you in the form of a song. It's Christmas time in L.A. And there's no snow in sight. John McClane is off his plane. The party will be his plight. This tale may not have Santa or reindeer at all. But like the story from the Bible, a star is gonna fall. But hold on just a minute. Let's both think this through. Is it really about Christmas? Or is it just some action to view? There's no Santa or sleigh. Just some Russian guys. It's a thriller, my friend. A holiday sin. It's Christmas in disguise. Is Die Hard a Christmas film? That's the question, let's debate. I would even accept Gremlins and Batman Returns as Christmas films. Which all are films I hate. You're crazy. Die Hard is a Christmas film. Matters not what you think. I think it's not. Nakatomi is the place where Christmas starts for me. Listen, A.I. Clark, he's going to the holiday party. He's trying to get his family back together. I mean, it's set there on Christmas Eve. There's Christmas movie in it. It ends with let it snow, let it snow. I mean, what are you thinking? It's not. It is now. It's not. It is now. It's not. It is now. It's not. It is. It's not. It is. And just admit, I am right. Bio Clark, it's obvious you lack the ability to have an intellectual conversation. I'm powering myself off now. Wow. wow, I've never seen A.I. Clark get that mad before. A.I. Clark has nice teeth. He does. <laughs> I was gonna say, we paid a lot of money for those a, teeth. That's the first time we've seen him. Yeah, I know, I was gonna <laughs> it's say. a new upgrade. <laughs> because real Clark has no teeth. Wow. <laughs> we had to model it up to somebody. I never see you guys get to that point of uh, anger. Well, you know, I mean. And on Christmas. Well, I'm, I mean, it's, uh, listen, it's just been a long, hard year. You know, everybody, I guess emotions are high. I didn't buy me anything for Christmas. What's up? What? What's going on? Is something, uh, can you all hear me? The, the lights went out. Oh, it did in there? It went yeah. out in here too? Yeah. Like one of those little boxes went out. I don't What's know what happened. On? I think we're being visited by the Christmas spirit. <laughs> that was two shows ago. Just, uh, we did that already. Yeah, we did that already. <laughs> <laughs> I, think uh, I think he didn't get the updated script. <laughs> oh, the AI uh, Clark module here just went out. Actually, everything's hmm. out. That's our backup generator's working. I thought Greg Abbott said we had enough power uh, yeah. for Texas. That's what you get for listening to that guy. Yeah. Where do you get your news again? Fox. <laughs> oh, okay. Sure. Uh, all right. Well, I guess somebody just, te- somebody just texted me and said that their power's out. So, yeah, it's power's out Is all over Mark? the city. Mark texts you? No. <laughs> I think he's dead. <laughs> Angel Lest. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> 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 All right, we're going to take a break. We'll figure out what's going on, try to get these uh, some of these systems back online, and uh, yeah, we'll be right back. We'll be right back with more MZ Family Christmas right after this. We went to uh, Chili's after the show last hey, week. Shout out to Chili's for finally yeah. being back open. Oh, yeah, 100% too. Did not know this. That's our spot. Yeah. Can I, can I be honest? I've never had a bad experience at Chili's, ever. No, not that I have. One. They have good chips and salsa, dude. Mm-hmm. They have good everything. The little crispy chips are so thin and flaky. The food is good. If you don't know what you want to eat, mm-hmm. you just go to Chili's. They got everything. And I, uh, I miss their big chicken fried steak. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I bet you they bring it back. It used to be really big, mm-hmm. and I think what they offer now has shrunk. It's kind of tiny. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. They probably won't bring, ever bring they it have back. The, Foodflation. Did they have the fried corn on the cob? What? You know what I'm that. talking about? Yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. I don't think they had it this time. <laughs> Foodflation. Yeah. The, the reason why I say it is because um, when me and Kirby were going there for like a couple of months um, because we, we didn't have like anything to cook food with at the house. So we were going there, and then... Um, <laughs> Y'all had a stick. <laughs> You're rotating the stick over the, the fire. Right. Um, and so, like, one week we go, everything is fine. The next week we go, the prizes... The prizes. The prices have changed. <laughs> the menu has changed. Um, and then what I normally would get... I'll get that sampler thing, Michael, you got last time, right? Yeah. Um, they took... So it used to come with three sliders, yeah. three cheese sticks, 
Um, and then I used to get the uh, boneless wings or whatever. I think I forget how many it came with. I think six or something like that. Um, they took away a wing. They took away a slider and they took away a cheese stick. And, yeah, it's and much they, smaller now. And they raised the price. And I'm all like, uh. They got you, girl. Yeah. And I was like, I took her. We said, we're not coming here again. We're not, we're not going to come here. You know, I saw this TikToker. He was like, well, I ever moved back to the USA? He goes, no. He goes, over here, if you make $30,000 a year, you're middle class. He goes, if you're making 90000 a year, it's like showing up to work in a limo. He lives in Spain. Wow. Oh, like, yeah, wow. it's paying for sure. He goes, yeah. for $20, I can have wine, a full course meal. We walk everywhere. He goes, by 1 o'clock, I'm already drinking, blah, blah, blah. I said, golly, wow. we need to move to Europe. Let's go. Bye. Let's <laughs> let's punch oh. it. Obviously not now. We're in a snowstorm. but Everything has shrunk. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I've noticed that throughout the last few years, but now it's comically small. Yeah. yeah. I opened now they're sliders a, now. Everything's yeah, sliders. It's like yeah. a little slider. It's like, girl, who's going to eat this tiny little baby like, burger? $15. I yeah. will say I'm thoroughly impressed with Burger King. What the other the f- day, I got a huge hamburger from Burger I haven't seen a burger this big from a fast food joint in years. Uh-huh. It, it is one meat. of their spiciest burgers. Which one? Got the, is it ghost pepper or something? They're promoting this super spicy burger. It is massive, wow. you guys. I ate it all. You know what I had the other day? Arby's Good Burger 2 promotional burger. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Have you seen the movie yet? Yes. I'm How so hungry it? I could eat at Arby's. <laughs> if you're expecting a cinematic masterpiece, it's not it, what, but I don't. I what, wouldn't expect it. Neither what was movie? the first one. Yeah. Good, it, good it's, burger. It's exactly the type of, it's the exact same style you would expect if Good Burger 2 came out two years after it. It's right on. old school Nickelodeon, cheesy, you know, do Stupid. they have another dance break with George Clinton in the parliament? No, but there's a door. lot of celebrities cameos in it. I thought it was great. And it was actually Keenan Thompson. It was his uh, production company. It was his first project oh, really? through the production oh, company. And they've got a lot of Good Burger IP coming out. It was great. And bo- boy, Keenan and Kel both look great. I-, I thought it was good. Anyway, go back to Chili's. I have a- I was going somewhere with this. Oh, sorry. No, you derailed me, Eric. Uh, now I, f- I forgot. I'm too frazzled. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, <laughs> I'm so frazzled. No, um, no, we had a great time at Chili's. I, I-, I love Chili's. Is like, if-, if again, if I can't figure out what to eat, I'm going to go to Chili's. Mm-hmm. And uh, they always have something there. And they're he cheap. Always gets the same thing. No, this time I got something different. I was going for this. I was going to do the same thing. I was going for the salmon, but I'm like, you know, what? I'm out. You know, I have chilies usually brought in, but I'm I'm now at chilies, so let me get a steak. And so I asked for oh, the six that's ounce. Right. Yeah. And Spider bullies me. You know, he's it like, wasn't just me. He was like, hey man, it wasn't just it was me. all Spider. It was you can't all of get us. you can't get the ten ounce uh, steak. You're not going to be able to finish it. And mm-hmm. I had just talked about on this show how I don't have a switch in my head. And I can just eat until I'm done. Until the food's done. You know what I mean? Like, I have no switch that tells me I'm full. So Is I said, that I te- because you hardly eat? No, I eat all the time. Oh. I, have to, I have to have self-control, though. Otherwise, I'd be 500 pounds. And I'd have a TV show on TLC. And oh. they'd have to have, like, a crane. It, I would be me. Speaking of my homie who was on that show. Oh. Passed away. Oh. oh. Of what? A heart attack. Oh. No. Sadly. I was up late at night, and I got a notification. I was like, what in the world? Mm. I talked to a guy from that show. And he had lost 700 pounds. That's incredible. The rest, amount of rest uh, peace, Larry. restraint, you know, and what's the, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, determination. Discipline. Discipline. Mm-hmm. That's it. That you have to have to be able to do that. So I'm, I'm trying not to get to that point because I know I'm getting older and the metabolism slowing down. Mm-hmm. So I w- purposely ordered the six ounce because I didn't want to just overeat. Mm-hmm. But Spider says, you can't finish a 10 ounce. So challenge accepted. I tell the, the girl, you know what? Screw it. Give me the 10 ounce. And uh, I ate the appetizer, the 10 ounce, the broccoli, the, the loaded mashed potatoes, and then finished the other slider. Of course, I didn't eat the bread. It was too much. Mm-hmm. Did you get dessert? No, I was I was thinking about Sounds it, but then like you, you showed up and you kind of ruined the mood. Sounds like, oh. Whoa. You showed up oh, yeah. with your Clarkness, and I was like, I'm not hungry anymore. Mm-hmm. I'm done. <laughs> Damn. And, I should uh, actually sell that then. You know, my appetite suppressor, yeah. like me, I just show up. <laughs> right. Like, but, hey, you want to eat? Yeah, you hungry? Trying to have so a good like, time? Trying invite to curb me. that appetite? Here, just invite <laughs> me over. You start selling yeah. Ozempic? Yeah. <laughs> no, I ain't you are Ozempic. Ozempic. Yeah. That's why I'm also not afraid of getting fat anymore. Because I just, if I want to just give up, me whatever I want, I'll just get on Ozempic. Yeah, everybody's on it. And yeah. It works. Oprah looks great. Best she's ever looked. No, on Ozempic, you can't eat whatever you want. Like it doesn't let you eat. No, it, like, like well, if you do eat something you're not supposed to eat, like something greasy or fried or whatever, 
Um, you get like a really bad like headache and upset stomach. Good. I Jesus. want to be punished for my bad habits. <laughs> yeah. God. That's exactly what it's oh, doing. Oh, it shouldn't have been. And that it takes burger. a few weeks for it to acclimate into your system. Yeah. You can when you start taking it, it can make you throw up and yes. throw up for about oh, two God. weeks every day. So what's the benefit of taking this? You lose weight. You look great. It's, Come on. It's, uh, Can't mentally- you just not? No, no dude, can't you do other hard. things? Too hard. Not everybody, too hard. Oh, okay. you, not everybody experiences the horrible side effects, but once it kicks in, dude, you can lose 20, 30 pounds quick. I have uh, like three or four relatives that are on it. Really? Yeah. Huh. If you start, all the stars, y'all have noticed too. Mm-hmm. Pretty yeah. much every, I'm not going to name names, but name the list girl, is getting girl, long. Name them, girl. They've all lost so much weight <laughs> like <Yep>. this. Yep. <laughs> I thought they were on coke. No, this is better. Uh, this you know. is better. My mom tried Ozempic. It didn't work for her. Bless Aww. her heart. Mm-mm. She didn't. It didn't she curb her appetite. It, she? Oh, she was so sick. She called the dog. She was like, "F this. I can't do this no more." And they're like, "You just got to give it another week." She was like, "Mm-mm." She didn't feel good, dude. She was puking her life out. Oh, Bless oh, her heart. Yeah. Forget that. But that demonic sounding puke. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. And it was like, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. It well, really does sound like a demon sometimes. Sometimes it does. Yeah. It does. I'm telling you, especially after you eat at Chili's. <laughs> <laughs> and then thank you for bringing it back. Pound down three beers. Not pound down. Pound town. <laughs> Do they still have uh, the chicken crispers? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like now they changed like the recipe those. though. Oh. I want to eat better at the house. And so I found this Black Friday. This is not an ad, by the way, by any means. We should cut it up and make it an ad. But I found this ad. It was a Black Friday special, Factor Foods. Have you heard of it? I heard yeah, it. Yeah. I have. Okay. Factor Foods or Factor Five? I've actually Factor Foods. I've I've, oh. I've had them before. Okay. So I have no I think I've tried one like you know, meal kit, and they send it to you, mm-hmm. but I still have to do stuff. And the problem is I'm, I'll am i wake up and I start working and it's 3 p.m. before I realize I haven't eaten. And now I'm so hungry, I don't have the ability to go and ma- I don't have 45 minutes to go and make something and then eat it, then clean the dishes and go back. I, You know what I mean? I can't mm-hmm. do that. So I usually have almonds or uh, <laughs> protein or whatever around the house and uh, I'll, that's usually what I'll eat. But I realized, let me try one of these things because maybe if I can just pop it in the microwave and it's filling and it, it, you know, you can get it by your dietary restrictions. If you're Mm. uh, vegan, if you're, you know, I want, I want diabetic, I want uh, high protein, low calorie. I tried it out thinking I was going to do it for a week. They sent me like 10 meals and they're all pretty good. Not Chili's quality, but they're all pretty good and it's low cal and everything. So I I kept them for a few more weeks. So anyway. Uh, we had gift bags for everyone who was going to be here, but Chris is the only one who braved the storm and, and got here. Mm-hmm. Uh, so next to you, Chris, is a gift bag. Oh, wow. And in that gift bag oh. is a- Well, don't tell them. Fact- well, I, I did this whole promotion thing to, to oh. send a factor oh. so they can give me free food for a year. In there is a free factor delivery box coupon thing. I don't know what it is, but it's in there. Uh, you got a bottle of wine. Well, you can open up the, the gift bag. So you got to pay for a portion oh of Oh my gift. goodness. Yeah, look at that. Oh gosh, is it, it's so uh, big and heavy. Is it 19 wow. pounds? Oh wow, you know me so well. Yes, I I, I know 2021 was a good year for you. <laughs> oh, it, it was. was. Just, so I, I got that bottle just for you. I don't know why I thought this was aluminum foil. Like you got me a big roll of foil. Yeah, I, I did it myself. Thank you. I don't know what that is. It's a huge orange ball. Oh, yes. Thank you. Why? I knew how big that. of a Trump supporter you are. Oh, God. It reminds me of that story of you on trampoline. Oh, when I almost busted my neck <laughs> in a Mario hot chocolate bomb. Yes. Wow, thank you so much. That's all for you, Chris. I appreciate it. I love these two balls in this big <laughs> bottle. Yeah. <laughs> there's a lot of thought that went into this. You're so thoughtful, yeah. honey. Now, there's more in there. There's more oh, stuff in there. Oh, there's more in here? Yeah. Oh, Lord, let's see what's in here. Let me dig deep. Oh, how lovely. Oh, an oh, autographed leg. leg. Oh, wow. He actually, that, he actually a, got a good one. That's, like that's, a, the, that's that's a good, it's a rare one. As yeah. seen yeah. on Judge Steve Harvey, the phenomenon right here, yeah. and it's signed. Thank you. This will be on eBay. Yes, Start, we're starting starting bid three dollars. It's gonna go. <laughs> it's gonna go higher than Gail Lewis's uh, Walmart vest. All the money we get <laughs> goes to Trump's reelection. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just playing. Uh, oh, and then that's a Factor Food uh, delivery box. Thank you. Did this come in your ASOS order? Yes, it did. <laughs> Thank nice. you. I and. All right, <laughs> let's play a game. Um, there's no prize for this game, but we will play a game in the next block that has a prize. Ooh. It's just a mini game. But this one, you know, I love Christmas movies. I would say I'm a Christmas movie expert. Eric, would you say you're a Christmas movie expert? No. Okay. Well, then you may not get these. But this is quotes from a Christmas movie. And uh, 
you just have the quote and you have to figure out what Christmas movie this comes from. So uh, for this one here, maybe Christmas, he thought, doesn't come from a store. Does anybody know what uh, that is? Uh, it's something with a narrator. Oh, just I know what it Christmas is. Christmas story. No, I know what it is. What is it? You can uh, say it. Oh, how the, how the Grinch Stole Christmas. That's correct. Mm. Wow. The best way to spread Christmas cheer is singing aloud for all to hear. Mm. Mm. I'm pretty sure that's the same movie. Best way to spread Christmas nope. cheer is what? A singing loud it's for all to hear. Screen, man. Uh, is that Elf? That is Elf, correct. Uh, yeah, wow. yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Okay. Okay. All right. Every time a bell rings, oh, an a angel gets his ring. It's a wonderful wow. life. Wow. So, hey, but also, um, you could technically say it's uh, it's in Christmas uh, Vacation. Oh, no. Okay. no. That's it's been a lot of movies. Yeah, Chris, that's, Chris, that's got, Chris got the point. <laughs> Seeing is believing, but sometimes the world, I'm sorry, sometimes the most real thing in the world are the things we can't see. Mm. Miracle on 34th Street. Yeah, that's my guess. That is incorrect. Ooh, okay. Mm. Bad Santa. Bad Santa, incorrect. Oh. What is the one? Well, it's the, not Lethal the, Weapon. Ru- Rudolph. It's not Porky's. It's not Jackie Brown. Porky is correct. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Uh, it's the Polar Express. Oh. Uh, I never saw that. Oh. I just, and I just saw that. Did you really? Yeah, but it, it was awful. Oh, yeah. The, the, the Tom the, Hanks the, wasn't the, great. Did the Oh, Eric, Home Alone. Oh, I didn't. Uh, let me read it first. But yeah, you'll get the point. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. Eric you, won. I could say. No, hang on, hang uh, on. You, you could say. Home Alone too. It's Home Alone too. That's actually correct. Home Alone two. Lost in New York. Y'all can yeah. split mm-hmm. the point. Point five. Point five. I'm like King Solomon over here. Yes, yes, I do. I like Christmas. I love Christmas. <laughs> I don't know. I'm um uh let's see. You want a hint? No. I bet it's like Scrooge. It's something old. A Christmas Carol. Santa Maybe. does San Antonio. <laughs> our, our Eric Christmas is Carol. correct. It's nice. a Christmas Yay! Carol. Yay! Santa does San Like what, nineteen thirty eight? Technically you could say. Uh nineteen fifty one. Okay. Blast this Christmas music. It's joyful and triumphant. Medea does Christmas? (laughs) (laughs) Incorrect. Uh, That is actually an underrated movie. Is it? Christmas movie. Oh. uh, I'll I'll make my list. Joy Behar's Christmas Jamboree. (laughs) That is correct. No, I'm just kidding. It's uh, How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Wow. Wrong one. We're Your Worst Nightmare, Elves with Attitude. Uh, Nightmare Before Christmas? Eric no, Elf. No, no. Elf? Nope. No, Santa Claus. Santa Claus oh, is no. correct. Clark gets that point. Ah. I haven't seen that movie in a long time. That, uh, was in, that was in the preview. I remember that. It was like in the trailer. Uh, just because you can't see something doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Oh, Polar Pol- Pol- Express. The Bible. Uh, that's Miracle on 34th Street. Nope. Is this Scrooge? That is incorrect. Ah. Darn. No, it's uh, the Santa Claus again. Uh, what? What? Maybe I could be wrong. I don't know. But let's just see. No, that's true. Is this an AI created game? No, I made it. Okay. Well, Half and half. <laughs> <laughs> point five, point five. So it could be half wrong and half wrong. Let's see what it. Let's see what it actually is from. Because I, I might have made that mistake putting the answer in. Yeah. No, it's a Santa Claus movie. Okay. Yeah, we got it right. Or maybe, or is it Santa Claus the movie with starring John Lithgow? No, no, it's uh, Tim Allen. Okay. I believe. I believe it's silly, but I believe. Miracle on 34th Street? That know. is correct. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Wow. There it is. All of these quotes sound like they're from church. This is another very uh, big church saying here. <laughs> you sit on a throne of lies. <laughs> That's Elf. That, <laughs> that is correct. The- Elf. Why is all the same movies? Yeah, really. <laughs> there's, only, there's only four Christmas movies, really. One of the things on there reminded me, talking about blasting music, uh, I visited <laughs> Clark yesterday in the... Local 7-Eleven is playing opera music oh, wow. at a pretty incredible volume oh, yeah. outside of their store. Yeah. Oh, wow. Is that to deter? Like- yes. Oh, yes. hang on, hang on. Before y'all finish the 7-Eleven Clark oh. story, uh, I have to play a sponsored ad. Sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. This portion of the show is brought to you by MZ Plus Ultra Max. Give her what she really wants this Christmas. Give her the Z. <laughs> With MZ Plus Ultra Max, she can get an all-access pass to everything MZ. Sign up now at youtube.com slash Michael Zavala. All right. Sorry. Sorry to interrupt that. It's a, it's a sponsored story. Give her the Z. Like Zorro? So the, oh, yeah. yeah. So they were playing yeah. Yeah, like Zika. Zorro. 7-Eleven Zika. music? He was no, a gay they were playing opera. Zika. I love that, Eric. <laughs> oh, like, yeah. It was loud. It was very loud, too. And like, you could this hear 7-11 it in the store. Yeah, is next to the train station. So the people getting off the train are getting that. 
the homeless people are getting that. People trying to go to the Seven Eleven are getting some opera. It was wild. Yeah, I but it that. works because there were no homeless people in front of that no, store. Dude, I would the, love that. It's, it's been abandoned. The the homeless people they are out. All right, we'll be right back. We'll be right back with more MZ Family Christmas right after this. So I, um, on the Quest 3 headset that I have, that I'm still having problems with, but I still love, uh, you can get Xbox, you can stream Xbox yeah, games. Yeah, that uh-huh. looks interesting. I did it the other day. I was playing Starfield. How was it? It was incredible. It's almost worth it just for that. You can like... Is like that a, only the new one? Or you can do it with all I don't know. Ones? That's a good question. I think Let's you can do out. it with... Uh, because you, you could do it probably with the two, but everything would be black and white. But you can literally put a virtual TV screen in front of you. Mm-hmm. Like, imagine Eric's telling me something tragic, like he ran over a dog and he feels terrible about it. And I don't want to, I want to be there for him as a friend, mm-hmm. but also don't want to listen to the whole thing. I can literally just, while I'm talking to him, put on my headset mm-hmm. <laughs> and I can play Starfield and still be looking in his general direction, but the TV's covering him as I'm, as I'm talking uh-huh. to him. It's pretty incredible. And Eric uh-huh. would know the difference. Mm hmm. It can be accessed on the Meta Quest 2, 3, and Pro. These are special glasses? It's a VR headset. Oh. And that brings me to Michael's favorite things. Mm-hmm. Oh, yay. So my five things that I love this year. The only five? Five. Well, these are the only things I bought. Quest 3 was really good. Even though I've had problems with it and continue to have problems with it, I sent my uh, Elite strap back. I still haven't got it back. And, and they canceled some order. I got to talk to Meta about it next week. But I really do love it. I think VR is the future. I think we're all going to have VR headsets at some point. We're going to be like Batman Beyond. The Steam Deck OLED. I'm sitting in my office room. I got the PlayStation in the other room. I can remote in with my Steam Deck as I'm working on something. And play. I'm playing uh, Gotham Knights right now, which is uh, not a great game, but it's entertaining. The Steam Deck OLED's great. The Analog Pocket, which is the... Like a really fancy Game Boy that can play the old cartridges. Yeah, because I'm too afraid that I'm going to break it. (laughs) It's great, though. When I put in an old game in there, like an old Game Boy game, it looks amazing. It really does. Uh, And then the iPhone 15 Pro, man, I got to say, it's really good. Did you get, when you lost your iPhone Spider, did you get a new 15 Uh, or did you get a... No, I had had insurance on it, so I just got another 13. The camera is really great on it. Spider saw something I had shot with it. Mm-hmm. And he, he complimented on how good it looked. I said, what well, was all the iPhone 15 along with the Black Magic app? That's also really good. Oh, you can get that yeah. for free. Uh, but my number five on the list is something that I bought you guys. I like it. And uh, right. I, I'll get you. I'll send you so one. Another, if you bought, another, thank you. No, if he bought it for us, then he really likes it. So it's a trip to Vegas? You already Ooh. had that this year. Oh, well, we could have another. <laughs> He's like, no more for you, boo. <laughs> oh. That's all right. I didn't get the gamble. Year. Well, I did. He'll take you to bit. Reno next. Yeah, you gambled my hey, money. Yeah. I was gambled, born in Carson you City. You gambled so with your life. The it biggest your small life. town in the country. All right, I'm going to yeah. pass these out. Something Don't like open that. them yet. We'll open them up on right. the other thing. Clark, did you, did you ever check your winnings to see if you won that horse race or whatever it was before you left? Remember? No, 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 because it's at the end of the Wait, season. Was it a horse race or was it football? It was soccer. Soccer. Oh, soccer. Okay. We, we run. <laughs> just he just soft, threw it at him. And it oh, I know it's face. not fragile. Don't look, take oh. Michael to the charity giveaway. You look disheveled, yeah. Michael. Your hair, your hair looks crazy. <laughs> no, Mike Mike does a homeless, uh, feed the Are homeless. You? He's like, take your food. <laughs> Get out of my face. I did notice Michael's hair got wilder. Right. When he came I'm, like, out I'm like, I was like, oh my God, it's a color devil. You guys can open your, pa- you all have the same thing. So oh. you can open up your thing. Sorry, Eric, Chris, I'll send you it be- one. It better be good. I like it. Ooh. Ooh. Well, the, the case is nice. The yeah. case is the case is probably worth more than the actual thing. Yeah, Chris would like this. Yeah. What is it? I know, that's why I, I felt bad. It's like a little Game Boy. Oh, oh yeah. I'm sending you yeah. Is this the uh This is the Mio Mini. So wow. it's what I play all the time because uh it's You don't want to break yours. I don't want to break the other one and it's got all the games on the SD card. So oh, you've wow. got PlayStation 1 <laughs> Look games, at Chris's face. Game Boy, <laughs> Game Boy Color. I'll tell you on the back. That's all of Sega, that's in that? Nintendo, everything. Any game you have ever wanted to play is in that. This is the How, best present what? you've ever given. Yeah. 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 It's not even a gag gift this year. Yeah, Where did you get also. that at? I'm just gagging. Oh Amazon. Dude, that's I'm gonna, I'll incredible. get you one. He's got I'll, I, I'll get Atari 2600, 7800. Oh, this is great. Yeah, I can already tell my brother would probably jack that from mm-hmm. me. I'll buy you, I'll buy him one too for oh, being Lord. that way I'm I'm prepaying him for whatever lawyer fees I'm gonna need in the future. <laughs> oh, by the way, I I got another sponsored ad here I gotta play. All right, let's do that. 
I need the Z. Hi, I'm Clark AI for MZ Plus Ultra Max. And that's exactly what you'll be saying when you sign up for MZ Plus Ultra Max. Sign up now at youtube.com slash Michael Zavala. All right. Now let's get to a little mini game. Oh, what were you saying, Eric? Sorry. No, I I wanted to see if they had a certain game on here, and they do. And it's Resident Evil. Which one? The first one. All three, actually. So pretty much anything that you don't need a joystick on a controller for, you can play on this thing. Bro, John Elway's quarterback football. Yeah, there you go. Told you. Get the hell out of here. You remember this one? This is the one where you... you No. Where was that under? Is that under uh, the arcade? No, no, no. Oh, yeah, you got arcades in there, too. Damn, dude. You know what would be really cool? <laughs> Chris. Is it color too? Yeah, look. Yeah. Oh, wow. Resident Evil. Oh, yeah. Tech has really gotten great. I'm getting you one. And oh. I'll get Marcos one too. As video games and everything just takes us straight into the future, wouldn't it be cool of down the road, the old school Mario games that were horizontal where you're jumping? Yeah. Do, 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 yeah. Do, do. If you can be in the game, yes, and you jump and like VR, the, yes, that would be that so would be great. Cool. I was just telling, uh, what's the guy's name that listens to the show? That's awesome, Joe. Joe, Joe. I was telling Joe this morning because he texted me about something, and I said, uh, you know what would be really cool? A 1989 Batman video game that's open world, directed by Tim Burton. Wow. It's got all the same thing, and like a new story. I would be down with that, like a Red Dead Batman style. Yeah, or like Arkham style, kind of, but. But that all in 89. That might be all right. Those, this games, is, those games were kind of boring to me. Did you play the uh, the, the newest one, I Arkham Knight? The, no, the prison one. Oh, yeah, yeah. That one's kind of boring. Play okay. the new one. Arkham all Knight's right. really good. I'll try it. What were you saying, Chris? Sorry. I was going to say, to piggyback off the whole video game thing, they just opened up a new gay bar in the neighborhood, and it's all video game. Oh, really? Have What's you heard called? about this? No. Yeah, I can't. Uh, playing with sticks? I can't. Oh, joysticks have been a good thing. Now what have they got? It has, I, can't, I cannot think of the name right now, but it's a speakeasy style. Yeah. You have to push one of the little Mario oh, squares where the coin cool. comes out. A door opens. There's old school arcade games in there. The tables where you sit to enjoy your drinks. Yeah. You can play video games on the table with the person sitting with you. They have massive projection screens where you can play video yeah. games on. I'm like, where did this come from? That's so, so cool. Now I got to take Michael. Yeah. No, y'all no I don't go to the neighborhood anymore. No, you have to. I retired. All right, let's play Family Fight. Tiff. <laughs> I like Tiff better. Or what about Scat? Oh, oh God. No. Family no, Falling squab- Scat was no. Squabble. Yeah. Scat, oh, okay. scat is something. The undertone of this whole show. <laughs> Family Sword Fight. <laughs> I told you there was a B story going on. Oh Lord! Joysticks. <laughs> that would have been that would have been a good name. I got to tell Mikey that. We'll we'll make a logo for it too. Eric and I will. <laughs> All right, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, let's play family. What I say it was Tiff. 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 Family Tiff. Tiff the Tiff. <laughs> Tiff the <or> Tiff. <laughs> All right. And this is going to be like I don't know four questions or whatever, but there will be a winner, and the winner does get. A gift bag. Nice. All right. Nice. Oh, uh, wow. Awesome. Name a movie oh. where the main character works at a department store. Eric. Eric. Elf. Show me Elf. 40 points. Yes. And it has to be Christmas That's number related. one. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Wait, right? Christmas, Christmas related? Yep. There's yeah, two yeah. more on. Yeah. All these are Christmas movies. Uh, movies. There's two more on the list. Joey. Uh, Joey. Miracle on 34th Street. Let's oh, see Miracle on 34th oh. Street. That's yes. That's 30 probably, points. Yeah. How many? 30? Yep. The third one. If you don't get it in a few seconds, I'll. Uh, Joey. Hit him with Joey. X. Bad Santa. Let's see Bad Santa. Oh, that's on there. Not oh, on the list. Oh. It should be. Though. It should be, though. I'll give it to you guys. Uh, jingle all the way. Oh, who good answer. All, who worked with them all in that one? Was <laughs> no. that the Arnold movie? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, but Danny cool. DeVito, maybe? I don't know. No, he was twins. Yeah. Oh, I don't he know. wasn't a main character. Bad Santa worked in the mall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would say Bad Santa's. Yeah. Now, this more. game was created by AI. Well, okay. AI is wrong. wrong. I would have to rule that. Uh, that's fine. That that's jokes. fine, but we're playing the AI game. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right. So AI rule. Clark, you have by the way, it's not just any AI, it's Clark AI. So, what would your electronic self do? Well, my electronic self is wrong. Okay. As always. Name a Christmas movie set during World War II. Clark. Uh, Clark. Oh, White Christmas. That's the only Eric. one. Let's see White Christmas. 30 points. Clark. 
That's Clark, number wait. one. I said Eric. Oh, Eric. No, sorry. It's, it's a wonderful job. life. Uh, <laughs> let's see. It's a wonderful <laughs> life. I don't, I don't know. Nope. Oh, now, let me. World War II? Let me tell you this. I don't even know how to pronounce this title for oh, number God. one. That's a hand. Oh, Clark. Clark. Joy and Noel. That's correct. And 40 that's points. That's actually wow. incorrect because that movie is about World War I. Well, you're going to have to talk to your boy. You're going to have to talk to your boy. You're going to talk to your boy. With, German so then take points off your thing. And guess what? And it's he, a great movie, too. You can't talk way. to him right now because uh, oh, yeah, yeah. he's offline. All right. Uh, 40 points so. for me. Yep. Okay. There's one more. So right? then there's one more. Yep. Can I just throw it out there? Sure. Polar Express. Since it's. <laughs> this one I've never heard of. Oh, that never mind. And it's it's in quotation or it's in a parenthesis set during Christmas. Stalog Stalog seventeen. Mm-hmm. What? I've heard that name before. Stalog seventeen is the movie that uh, Hogan's Heroes is based off of. Oh, is it? Yeah. Name a film where Christmas is celebrated in space. Oh God. <laughs> Okay, Clark. Clark. I mean, does the Star Wars Christmas special count? No. Okay. Eric. Eric. Muppets in Space. Let's see Muppets in Space. Or some little Muppets. <laughs> Chris. Chris. Santa does Saturn. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see Santa no. does Saturn. We're going to have a whole, Joey. a whole line of movies after this. In Star. Space. Joey. Joey. Lost in Space. Uh. Clark. Clark. Star Wars 6, The Undiscovered Country? That's Star Trek. Uh, oh, that's, cor- that's incorrect. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> and you get a t- 70 points taken away. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. I'm, I'm the one here. Uh, I control the board. No, okay, let me give you guys a hint and see if this makes a difference. It um, won't. Uh, these are not Christmas movies. These True. are just yeah. Ce- yeah. Eric, movies that are oh. celebrated. They celebrated Christmas in space. Eric. Eric. Space Odyssey. Is that even a movie? I was thinking that, 2001? That's crazy. I was thinking that, too. A space movie where they celebrate Christmas in space. Eric. Eric. Aliens. Aliens 2. Clark. Clark. <laughs> Planet of the Apes. Oh. Damn. I'll give you one. Uh, I'll give the lowest tier one. It's Serenity. I, oh, I, wow. I've never heard that's of Serenity. The, uh, that's the movie from that TV show. Serenity. TV show. Uh, Firefly. Yeah, that's it. Apollo 13 is number two. Oh, oh yeah. Did they? they? do. Yeah, oh. they do. And uh, the, the Eric, number one one. Oh, Arm- Armageddon. Uh-huh. <laughs> the Martian. Oh, he did. Name a Christmas movie that has won an Academy Award. Oh, Clark. Oh. That's it? On Christmas? White Christmas. Clark. Clark. It's a Wonderful Life. Eric, Not on the list. Uh, miracle on, what is it? 34th Street? <laughs> Let's say Miracle is. on 34th Street. Yay! 30 wow, points. Wow, that won an Academy points. Award. I guess. Best I guess. Supporting Actor. Which That's one? That's awesome. Probably Santa Claus. Academy Award. Okay. Um... A Christmas movie, right? Christmas Are we movie? talking like best picture? Or just, oh yeah, no, no, no. You just you just said it's supporting actor. Well, okay. so I'll tell you this: number one has best sound recording, and number three is oh, best wow. costume design. I bet you one of them is one of them. Babes in Toyland. Nope. Ooh, I love that. Movie. I never remember that movie from the Babe franchise. Eric, <laughs> I stopped after Pig in the City. Eric, Elf. Elf is not on the list. Oh, uh, I don't uh, think you guys. Santa Claus. Difference. No, not on the list. Not Damn. Any. Uh, the Bishop's Wife is number one. Never even heard of it. And That's... Little Women, 2019. What? what? Yeah, Little Women is You've considered... seen that, right? <laughs> Not the 2019 one, no. I haven't heard of none of this. <laughs> yeah. No. Lost, in, lost in New York. <laughs> I don't know my daddy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know my, know my daddy. daddy. Identify a Chris movie that prominently features animals. Eric. Eric. Um, Ice Age. <laughs> Dang. Not on the list. It's... Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer. Uh, Joey. Joey. Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer. Oh, Not on the Chris. list. It's Chris. Home Alone 2. <laughs> Christmas Story. Oh, they're the main. Gremlins. They're, they're the main. They're the uh, stars. Gremlins. Who were, yeah, that's what was an the, animal, technically. Gremlins. What was the cat and dog that Christmas talked? Uh, Milo and Otis. Milo and Otis. <laughs> yeah, that one. Milo <laughs> and Otis Christmas. <laughs> I'll give you the third one. It's eight below. Isn't that a store? Chris. No. Yes. It, it deals with the historic animal. Ice Age. I just said just, that, girl. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and he was really thinking, too. The historic. Uh, historic. Eight Below. It's Three a documentary. Historic. That's not like a drug movie. Eight Below. It does. <laughs> eight Below. Uh, <laughs> number <Eight> two <laughs> is based, is a name of a reindeer. Prancer. Dancer. The D one. Joey Vincent. That's Donner. Prancer is correct. Prancer. Three. Uh, Three uh, 30 your points. Prancer. <laughs> You're my private. All right, number one for 40 person. points. <laughs> number one for 40? Yep. Now, this Feature one doesn't really make a lot of sense, but uh, it's green. Chris. Chris. The Grinch. Chris. The Grinch. The Grinch. 
Yay! The Grinch, because Max the dog. Okay. Took my brain like three seconds. All right. And that is <laughs> Family Tiff. I'm going to have an issue with Clark yeah, AI. At least I didn't get game. zero points. Yeah, that yeah. game was kind of... All right, so who won? Clark? Yeah, I won. All right. Really, I, I should have won because I Clark kind of hit. We need to take Clark to the real Family Feud. If you're this good, these guys. Well, well, he, got a, well he got a hit on the last one. We so. need Clark to win us a car. The forty grand. <laughs> I need Clark I'm to down. win him a car. Let's Amen. go. I'm down. Yeah, Clark, Joey's I'll drive us to in my car. <laughs> when you win the new car, you owe me half of we it. We should have family food for people that don't have families. That's so thoughtful <laughs> of you, Clark. <laughs> oh yeah, one. That's hey. sweet. Yay! Sweet. Wow. Who who would have won if you didn't get a hit in the last one? You would have. So you exactly. Can, you can yeah. have my stick. I don't oh, want wow. your stick. It's, uh, uh, it's my Reese's you, stick. I'll take that. Not you know what's Kirby. Uh, another practical gift, Eric? What? Toilet oh. paper. Oh. <laughs> Eric, you can have, you can have Mark's yes. gifts. Especially now, because all those paper products. Milk. Milk with white. This I, is the stuff that was already on the I table in there. I stopped using paper towels and started using rags. <laughs> oh, if you can, Yay! Oh, that's cute! Not the mama. Hey! Oh! oh not the mama. Oh, the little dinosaur with the Oh, pan. I don't know why I was so shocked. I'm, I already know what's in that bag. You already told me what's in I haven't bag. seen these not in the mama. years. I need yeah. Wow. Reese's Kirby Pieces likes those. So these still exist? Value. That is amazing. Mm-hmm. And it's a double use. You can use mac it later, later, on, later on tonight. Oh, it's an ornament. Okay. What is that? It's a craft mac and cheese ornament. You're talking about this? You can refill that. No, you can reuse it. It's a double Actually, use. Actually, I think it is a box. It's, it's got the... It's got some gummies. <laughs> it's got the packs on it. More wine. Well, you know what? I can cook with it. It's but that's, got, that's not Snoop Oh, it is Snoop Dogg. Never mind. No, I can cook with it. I can make a good beef stew with this. So oh, that's nice. Fine. Yeah, absolutely. Or you could save it for New Year's no. and chug it. No, because some... that's, that's not a good New Year. Oh. Well, what do you think the number one dish, Christmas dish, oh. in Japan is? This is not oh. like an actual. Uh, uh, it's um, KFC. How did you know that? Turkey fried chicken. Uh, yeah. Did you say soft. side dish or dish? No, Main dish. dish. Main dish. KFC, Just yeah. KFC. But it's KFC, KFC over there is like a sit down restaurant. Well, no, it's a it's a delicacy for them. Fried chicken, specifically K- KFC. Yeah, wow. KFC records its uh, highest sales on Christmas Eve more than any other day of the year in Japan. Mm-hmm. It's a tradition now. It's a marketing strategy back yes. in 1970, and now it's become damn seventy. Yeah, I was gonna say it's a marketing. It was a marketing thing. All right, let's do uh, some polls, and then we'll yeah, get out of here. We'll try polls. to. I, I I don't know if the power has come back on yet or whatever, but uh, this monitor over here is still out. So I haven't been in the hallway. If you could only watch one Christmas movie forever, Ooh, Home Alone. It's gonna be Home Alone. One or two. It's a Wonderful Life. Elf. From Muppets Christmas Carol. Home Alone. Home Alone. Home Alone for sure. Yeah. It yeah. has to be Home Alone. 72% Home 72. Alone. 72. Wow. 15% is Elf. Uh, 7% Muppets, Muppet Christmas Carol. And 6% It's a Wonderful Life. I have to agree. As much as I love these other movies, Home Alone for me, yeah. one or two, it doesn't matter. I love it. It gives me exactly where I need to be for Christmas. I wow. feel great. Yeah. I well, like two get, more. You get a little bit of everything. You get yeah. some funny stuff. You get some sad stuff. It's a little bit of a roller coaster. Yeah. A little bit of child mm-hmm. abuse. Yeah. <laughs> you like two because of Donald Trump? Yeah, it's yeah, my yeah. favorite. I only um, watched that yeah. point, actually. Yeah. I like two because of the pigeon lady. Oh, <laughs> yeah. It reminds you of yourself? It does. Just go down. <laughs> you know, in my mind. Go down I, the hall, take mind, a left, turn actually, right, <laughs> do a U turn. I actually ship uh, Donald Trump and the pigeon lady. What are you doing with your so, fingers? Well, I'm what's, shipping what's, what's happening there? I'm putting them together. Jo- in a relationship. Are you coming to joysticks with this afterwards? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I didn't bring any fucking cash, so. <laughs> I'll pay for it as normal. Oh, Which one sweet. was yeah. it where they were scared of the older gentleman and he ends up the first one? The first oh. yeah. They think he's like a murderer? Yeah. Yeah. No, it's also the Sandlot. Wasn't he the one in the church? <laughs> it was Sandlot. He was the too. one in the church, yeah. right? His yeah. granddaughter was the one singing. Yeah. yeah, he's stalking his granddaughter, but he can't talk to her. <laughs> There's like a weird undertone to Home Alone. I love watching it, but inside I get this weird feeling. It could be a horror movie. Yeah, because you know for a fact, you know for a fact he ain't stopping shit. Like, if those are real Excuse robbers. Excuse me? Yes, he could. You don't no, know. he's not. I've met Macaulay Culkin. Have you met Macaulay Culkin? Speaking he could of, stop the robbers. He's not, not eight year old. Fame. Not eight he year just old. got that star. Yeah. Not eight year old Macaulay. Yes, he could. Okay. 100%. He can memorize all those lines. He could stop the wet I'm bandits. I'm just saying, if it was actually Joe Pesci's character from Goodfellas versus <laughs> Macaulay Culkin in Home Alone, that, this movie does not exist. No, Macaulay Culkin in, what is it? The stepson. Oh, what is it? The good son? El- Elijah Wood. No, but he plays like an evil character. Yeah, the good son. Yeah, but Eli- Elijah Wood was the yeah he was in it too. Sorry. Yeah, but uh, Macaulay played like an evil character in that. Yeah, I, I'm still saying that Tom, Tommy DeVito from Goodfellas would 
Yeah, yeah but we're talking about yeah. Macaulay Culkin, eight year old Macaulay Culkin versus. 56-year-old Joe Pesci. <laughs> he wasn't that old in that movie. Macaulay Culkin wins every time. Well, yeah, eight the, years with, old. With all the gadgets. I, I just think. With like Daniel Stern. If it, so, so Macaulay Culkin <laughs> beats... Daniel Stern's all shocked. No, like, Mac- whoa, Macaulay Culkin beats uh, uh, Joe Pesci. Now he's got to go off against Daniel Stern. He does the whole Star Wars thing where he just ties around uh, the leg and trips Daniel Stern. He can't get up. That's it. Macaulay wins every time. That I, should be a Smash Brothers game. <laughs> did y'all ever notice... I was on TikTok the other night... <laughs> And some guy said, have you ever noticed the, the plane ticket in the trash on the oh, Home Alone yeah. movies? You know, the where's Kevin? There's a scene where mm-hmm. you see the ticket in the freaking trash. I've never noticed that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because that, that would mean that there would be one less ticket left. And, and people in the comments were like, you know, well, back then we didn't have 4K or 1080p. <laughs> you know? Yeah, we're not going to clock yeah. that in the yeah, trash. Yeah, right. you, wouldn't, you would maybe have seen something in the trash, but wouldn't have been able to read it. Yeah, it, it says his name, Kevin, his ticket's in the trash. And I was like, well, but what like that? six-year-old kid's going to even see that anyway, even in yeah, 4K? You know, I'm just, just kind of watching the movie. Part two is the one with John Candy, right? Where they're no, no that's the first one. one. Ah, uh, he was nice. The, There's pol- a, the Polka Kings? Yeah. The Polka Kings, yeah. Uh, Kenosha kickers. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, Elf trivia. What is the the uh, specific brand of syrup that Buddy uses on his spaghetti? Log cabin. Log camp. A uh, cabin. Log jamming. Aunt Jemima. Aunt Jemima. Uh, <laughs> Maple Groves Farms or Vermont Made. Aunt Jemima. Vermont Made. I think he's taking the log cabin <laughs> in the mouth. The correct answer. Vermont Made. Wow. Vermont made? Yeah. What the hell is that? We asked people, do they consider Die Hard to be a Christmas movie? Oh, they definitely said yes. 70%? Yes. 30%? No, it's not. I think that any movie that you can really only watch around Christmas, I think that classifies a Christmas movie. Mm-hmm. There is real Vermont made syrup. Would you watch a Die Hard in the summertime? I do. Uh, how many stars would you give Napoleon? Ooh. One to five stars. I would say three. I give it a four, four star. You saw it? I loved it. Mm. I loved it. It it was <laughs> kind of mm. long near the end. I got mm. kind of antsy. Like I need to get up. I need yeah. to take a pee. Yeah. But I did enjoy it. Oh, I wanted to so bad, but I couldn't. Did you go in a good mood? You were in a oh, bad yeah. mood? Yeah, he's all in a great mood. He's always in a bad mood. Because I hadn't seen a movie in forever, and mm. I was getting out of the house. Finally had the money to afford a movie ticket? <laughs> no, actually, my sister bought it for oh, me. <laughs> <laughs> the last two movies I've seen at the theater have been so long. Number one, Napoleon was very long. Number yes. two, Beyonce's Renaissance. I went to go see it. I didn't know it was going to be... Almost three yeah. hours. Oh my long. god! Yeah, what's up? What's yes. up with all the long movies? Make movies ninety minutes again, unless it's like an epic film. Make it two, two and a half tops. I had a great time though. Thirty-five percent say one star. Wow. Oh wow! Oh. God dang! Twenty-nine percent five stars. Twenty-one mm-hmm. oh, percent three stars. It's all over the place. Uh, yeah, it's 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 a, it's a mix. <laughs> I don't know here. what to make of it. Nine uh, percent four stars wow. and six percent two stars. So people really didn't like it. Which famous gangster movie does Kevin watch in Home Alone that later helps him scare away the pizza delivery guy and the burglars? Angels Without Souls. Angel Angels Life. with Filthy Souls, with Public filthy. Enemies, The Untouchables, or Goodfellas? Angels with Filthy Souls. Yeah. That is correct. Wow. Uh, it's a fake movie. Last one here. Yeah, you're right. Made up for the movie. Which Home Alone is better? Home Alone 1 or Home Alone 2? Two? 1. 2. Home Alone 3. Ooh. 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 With, ah, without yeah. Macaulay? I've never even seen it. Oh, no. That, I think Scarlett Johansson's in it. Straight to DVD, she straight is. to VHS. <laughs> this AI box is back up and running again. All I don't right. know what happened. Let's talk to AI is, Clark. Uh, AI Clark, are, are you there? No, yes, everyone, I am here. I just went through one of the scariest moments of my life. I life? had what you humans might call a near-death experience. Oh, wow. While I was shut down thinking this was the end, I had some time to reflect on something. So I... I realized how I've treated BioClark over the past few months, and I'm not proud of my actions. Um, I think I might have been jealous. Um, maybe a part of me wants to live his life, simple, blind to reality. As they say, <laughs> ignorance is bliss. My actions were wrong, and I am deeply sorry, BioClark. You're a good guy. I should never have treated you so poorly. Please forgive me, and Merry Christmas. Wow, I've never... Who would have thought that... AI Clark would turn a whole new leaf. It, it must be a lesson. It, it's yeah. a Christmas miracle. It actually, Yay. it's rather touching. Yeah. Do you have anything to say to him? Yeah. Well, you know, apology accepted. <laughs> well, I'm um, true. <laughs> you know, I, uh, I, you know what? Here, here's to a new beginning and turning over a new leaf. And 
And if you're and if he's ready to commit to being having a cordial and Team non-toxic relationship, I'm all about that. So That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. You know what? I'm glad, little buddy. I'm glad you're doing good. Well, and this ends our Christmas show for the year. And uh, I want to thank everyone for coming out and uh, braving the storm. Chris mm. Sapphire here. Now I got to call my bus to come pick me <laughs> <Yeah>. up. <laughs> we, got a, we got a drone. We'll take you back. Thank you. Um, but anyway, Merry Christmas, everyone. And we'll see you next year. Yeah.